afternoon. I, it is truly an honor and a privilege to have the 76th Secretary of the Navy, Richard V. Spencer here today. Please give him a hearty welcome. This is really very special and this is really fantastic. I think the last time I addressed you all we were inside and it was dark and dingy. At least we're outside and it's sunny. There's a lot of um, there's a lot of things in this job that uh, you just got to do and then there are some really great things that you get to do. And I mean this from the bottom of my heart. Coming out here and seeing all your faces really just lights me up. Um, it's you that are the backbone of what gets done out here. And you know, when uh, we first met, I think I was a promise at that point. I said, you know, we're gonna give you the tools, we're gonna give you the processes, so we do things faster, more efficient, and more effectively. And I just got a brief on the way in from the captain about the progress that you all have made. And right now, I want you to give yourselves a huge round of applause for the improvement that you've made. Thank you very much. You've heard me talk about urgency, and I really can't stress this enough. We have resources. Congress has given us some money. Well, I think we've done a hell of a job with it. It proves out right here. But ladies and gentlemen, there are a bunch of people that have another vote on that also, and that includes Russia, that includes China, that includes North Korea, that includes Iran, and another bunch of people that are paying a neck to us. They get a vote in this. We have to act like every single day is going to be the last peace day we have. And I don't mean to put a downer on it. I just want to frame the urgency that we need to do because tomorrow our men and women in uniform could be in harm's way. You are a protector of that. And what you do keeps them safe and keeps them sound to the best that we can do it. And that's greatly appreciated. So when you wake up, on a morning that might not be sunny like this, and I know every day is sunny like this up here, and you got a little bit of a headache maybe, and you're looking at yourself in the mirror going, I gotta drag myself to work one more day, know that what you're doing for our men and women in uniform cannot be replaced. You are part of that integral team. We know that back in Washington. Know that I know that and appreciate it. Without you, it can't be done. I just ask that we do everything within the safety confines, but we do it with urgency in the frame of mind. Because one thing I cannot buy with the full and robust treasury that I have right now, I cannot buy time. And time is my enemy when I look at the planning that we have to do. So your contribution in focusing on urgency really does help. And I'm gonna get ahead of the curve and already thank you for thinking like that. But I look forward to walking around. I hear I can look at some innovation. Innovation is a word that's thrown around. My theory about innovation is um, you don't have to sit at a desk and bang your head against the wall. You don't have to sit at a press and bang your head against the wall and say, how can I innovate? Find out how someone else does it better. Rip it off, deploy it, and bring it here. That's how you innovate just as long as we're doing it better, faster, more efficient within the bounds of safety. But you're proving that you can do that, and I look forward to uh, some of the walk-arounds we're gonna do to see that. I'm not gonna hold you up much longer because I'm all about productivity, and all you standing here does not mean productivity is being underway. But thank you, from the bottom of my heart, for what you are doing for the United States Navy. It is tremendously appreciated and know that I know that and I will bring the message back when I look at all these faces out here on a sunny day here at a great shipyard. So thank you.